Time now for Ask the Expert. When it is so cold outside, you might not think diet matters. But what you eat and drink not only affects your health, it also regulates your body temperature. Registered dietitian Lori Meyer joining us this afternoon. What is this biggest diet problem we all face when it gets this nasty well, outside? Well, believe it or not, it's dehydration. You think of it in the summer months, it's so hot and you're sweating. You don't realize that when it's cold, in order to create heat and produce heat, your body uses a lot of water, a lot sure. of fluids. And so the colder it is, actually, the more fluid you need. So this is the biggest problem. We want people to be drinking. Don't forget to drink. Unfortunately, we don't really feel that thirsty when it's cold. So I drink a, a lot of coffee. So it's a little bit harder. <laughs> Which but makes it worse. <laughs> the recommendation is about half your weight in ounces of fluid per day, okay. roughly. So, but Courtney what, says like, she likes her coffee. Yeah. And, and, well, and, you know, warm and, up, and a lot then... of people are afraid to drink coffee because they think it's going to dehydrate them. And the, really, the research on it shows that if you're used to drinking coffee, it's not going to dehydrate mm. you. Okay. If, so you what if you never drink coffee, it could. Okay. I mean, water is the best thing. Right. Not icy cold, though. Warm water, hot water, room temperature water could be much better than the icy cold water. I mean, you certainly teas mm -hmm. and um, teas with a lot of spice in are going to really, the warming spices will kind of mm. warm you up. Juices are okay, hot chocolate is okay, but even broths, soups, any liquids, the thing that you don't want to drink, that's a chai green tea. Mm, that's nice. The thing you don't want to drink, though, is alcohol. I mean, a lot mm. of people think they feel a little bit warmer, but right. it's actually... It does make you feel warm, uh, Temporarily, it? but it actually cools you off pretty fast, and so it's going to make you colder. So the alcohol, you know, a little bit, but don't, don't count on that to warm you up. You said today's the day to eat starch. Yeah, it get your starch on. You know what? That's what we really want to be eating today because if you're a high protein eater, you're going to feel a lot colder. Mm. Protein tends to dehydrate you and it does make you feel really cold. So you want to add a little bit of starch. And if you don't, if you can't add a lot of starch, then at least add fat because both of those are going to actually regulate your temperature a little bit more than, than the protein will. So any of the soups, um, pastas, this is a pasta with spinach, sweet potatoes, squashes, some, a lot of those comfort foods. Oatmeal would be a good thing to eat, peanut butter sandwich or a nut butter sandwich, nuts. Things like that that are going to give you some quality fat or quality starch are going to be the things that you want to eat today. And last but not least, I have this little handy yeah. bag. This is an emergency kit. Keep it in your car and keep it stocked and keep things. I have a Lara bar. I have a chocolate bar, some nuts. Like a nut mix, I yeah. have um, a, a kind bar, but nuts and fruits, um, those kinds of things. Keep them in your car in case you need food. All right. Lori, thanks for coming and have a question for Lori or any of our experts. Here's how you get it to them. Email askthexpert at tmj4.com or leave a voicemail, that number right there on your screen. Come